Here tonight, we are following a court appearance today for the woman accused of carrying out a shooting at two Midtown buildings near Colony Square in Atlanta back in 2022. Two people were killed here and another person injured in this attack. In that hearing, attorneys trying to decide if Raisa Kani could be forced to take medications that would make her competent to stand trial. 11 Live's Erica Murphy was at that proceeding. She's joining us now live outside the Fulton County Courthouse. Yeah, Raisa Kenny appeared via Zoom today for a competency hearing aimed at determining whether or not she could be forced to take antipsychotic medications in the state's efforts to prosecute her for killing two people and injuring another. Now, in June, a judge ordered Kenny to be committed to the State Department of Behavioral Health because she was deemed not mentally capable of standing trial. While she was being held there, she was evaluated again, and the results of those findings were immediately, were supposed to be immediately shared. Now, today, the state made a case to have Kenny forced to take antipsychotic drugs that would allow her to participate in a trial. Her lawyer argued that the side effects of those medications might actually hinder her ability to stand trial because of the side effects. The lead doctor at the Central State Hospital says Kene has been diagnosed with schizophrenia, but the doctor admitted since she's been there, she hasn't allowed anyone to evaluate her, give her medicine, or even perform basic medical evaluations like weight and blood pressure readings. Ms. Kenji refused to, um, to meet with him, and Dr. Kearns was only able to review the the records of Ms. Kenji's uh, behavior or lack of cooperation. And since he could not conclude that Ms. Kenji understood her circumstances or her ability to cooperate in her defense, uh, Dr. Kearns concluded that uh, Ms. Kenji was not competent to stand trial. Ms. Kenji will not become competent to stand trial without the administration of antipsychotic medications. Now, Judge Shakura Ingram will consider arguments made uh, by both sides today, and she plans to issue a written decision. Reporting from the Fulton County Courthouse, Erica Murphy, 11 Alive News.